out a new sponsor to Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good filler one boxing at 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's the healthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. Alright, what up though? We back. Good fella sports TV. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another video. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email as well. All those links there, man. And uh share the video. It's the best way to help the channel out. And uh definitely appreciate everybody for checking in. And um, yeah, we got some uh rumors coming in this morning, man. I got this early, early this morning. Uh about Canelo. Now you know, Canelo was supposed to take that, uh, I think they was, they was uh, counting on him taking that Triple G trilogy. Because Kovalev, uh, you know, passed up the opportunity. I guess Kovalev won it about what Danny Jacobs got. And that was a guarantee of like 12 and a half. And I guess the zone or Golden Boy, whoever controlled the financials, wasn't willing to give Kovalev that money. And I think a lot of people was happy. Kind of get off subject for me. I ain't going to keep y'all waiting long. I think a lot of people was happy that that fight didn't happen. Um, not, you know, some people was happy because they didn't want Kovalev, I mean, get Canelo to get a, another catch weight fight. I know the catch weight is supposed to be 172 with a rehydration clause. Um, and try to, they try to glorify him when he didn't really beat Kovalev at his best. Plus, they thought Kovalev was old. But the primary reason is because people got, got tired of uh, Anthony Yard uh, getting, you know, f uh, finessing his way out of big fights. You know, he ducked, he ducked a few number one contenders before or champions and said he needed more time. So, we actually get a chance to see Anthony Yard step up, but Canelo Alvarez, the rumor is Canelo Alvarez is not training right now, and he got a September 14th day. Now, we at the end of, uh, we coming in the middle of August, so always at the end. So if he not if he don't start training until August, then that's a, about a six week training camp. And that could be enough time. You know, he already fought Triple G before. Maybe Roger Mayweather said, you don't need nothing but a, what, a six or eight week training camp, because you should be active and stay in shape. Uh, you know, 10 or 12 week or more training camp is, is just too much. So he could do it on the six or he could start training next week, six, seven weeks and still fight him or whatever it may be. But right now they saying he ain't training and um, it could be, I'm not sure why it wasn't, uh, you know, pointed out why, but it could be his knee. He got really bad, uh, really bad knee problems. Or it could be, you know, I know he didn't want to fight uh, the Triple G trilogy until Cinco de Mayo next year. So right now, uh, Canelo ain't training. That's the word on the street. And I don't think he, uh, unless he going to come back and fight in December, right now he ain't training. You know, he ain't, I don't like he going to make that September 14th date. But like I said, if we get six weeks under and he still ain't training, then, then he ain't going to take that date. And if it's knee injuries or if it's just that he didn't want to let Triple G get a shot at the title um, or he just didn't want to fight Triple G and kind of show the zone that um, he in control or he controls some part then at the end of the day you can't argue with a man that's not injured you know the zone gonna release him out of his contract he just go to ESPN and bank in regardless and then who they got to pull the zone because it really ain't getting the traction that it that it need right now they think that Triple G Canelo trilogy gonna give him the traction but I don't blame Canelo if he don't want to fight Triple G he gonna take his time fighting him because they didn't force Triple G to do nothing. How you gonna force Canelo to fight Kovalev or Triple G? But you didn't face, you didn't force Triple G to fight the, uh, Demetrius Andrade. That just that makes zero sense on his own part. And you giving Triple G this preference, like what is he doing? All all he all his titles are paper title, paper titles. He never really outwon the title. He didn't do nothing. Jack shit been at the middleweight division his whole career. And you got motherfuckers like Adrian Broner who done more than him in his career. Wins or loses, win or losses, he's done more than him in his career. Uh, you know, it's a ton of guys that that done more than Triple G in an equal or or the same amount of time around that time. You know, they glorify they glorifying Triple G. They giving Triple G preference over there, and Canelo just gonna finesse him. And if he do finesse him, if it really ain't an injury, he just don't want to fight the guy. You feel like they need to force him to get a title. You know, or, or force him to bust a move, then so be it. If it come, if it come to, you know, they want to release uh, uh, Canelo from his contract because he don't want to do what they want to do, then so be it. Canelo will be fine regardless, because he go right over to ESPN, and if they give him Tyson Fury that type of bag, he get a nice bag. He get a bag. So I don't really think I don't really think it. Uh, I don't really think he tripping about it. 
you know. But right now, it don't it don't look like he uh he in he in training mode. And we about I can't I roughly say we about maybe eight weeks out to that date. So uh, six weeks six weeks is when I what I would start I would start worrying. Like I, when it get to like six weeks under six weeks and he ain't training. And if that's the fact, that means Jaime McGuire is going to take that day either. Um, I heard, you know, just a while ago, if he ain't going to fight, if they ain't going to do Triple G and Jaime McGuire September 14th, um, then I'm hearing it's probably behind me and Dennis Hogan rematch, or I heard it was intended to do Jaime and uh, Jesse Vargas. Um, I don't even know why Jesse Vargas stepped up to the 140 pound division. I don't, I really don't, I don't look at him. As a puncher, even at 140, 147, and I don't really look at him as no, you know, no, really no tech, no, no technician at 154. I mean, and none of the divisions to be, you know, that good to go up there and be some of the bigger guys. But uh, my preference be Triple G and Jaime. Then, fuck it, you know what I'm saying. At the end of the day, it really should be, you know, Triple G and Andre next. It should have been that from the beginning, but for whatever reason, Triple G earned this. This preference, this seniority in boxing that he never earned. You can't Pacquiao earn to do what he want to do. Floyd Mayweather earned to do what he want to do. Bernard Hopkins earned to do what he want to do. And right now in this generation of boxing, you got to say, even with everything Canelo then did, the ups and downs and shit, him and Danny Garcia got the two best resumes out there, other than Manny Pacquiao. You know, so, you know, they can move how they want to move. Because they, they legitimately didn't fought the best wins, losses, whatever. Other than that little Canelo, little PD thing, and, and him getting the benefit of the doubt, he has fought the better, you know, the better competition than, than a lot of other guys out there. But what the fuck has Triple G done? Real talk. What 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 has what what Triple G fucking done? Real talk. What has he done? Because that WBA title he got, that was a paper title. That was a paper title. That was a, a, a regular, an interim title turned regular title. And then it turned into a super title. Other than that, he didn't beat nobody for that, but he won that belt like over in Germany or something. Versus nobody. That dude ain't actually done nothing since Triple G beat him. Okay? Then he got the IBF from Dave Lemieux. Nobody ever thought Dave Lemieux was going to be a world title unless he can punch. But it's the same dude that lost to Marco Antonio Rubio. Then he won the intern WBC for Marco Antonio Rubio. And then... They, uh, uh, Canelo won, won, it was technically vacant because Cotto gave it up because Triple G was trying to extort him, I say that jokingly, for more money to step aside. And Cotto just gave it up before, I think before the weigh-in or at the weigh-in, he gave the WBC title up, you know, and, um, he gave that title up. And then, uh, what else, what else you had? And then, you know, they stripped Canelo. He was going through his, uh, sue with, uh, All-Star Boxing. They stripped him. Of his uh of his WBC uh title and gave it to Canelo I mean Triple G but Triple G won he technically won that title versus Marco Antonio Rubio which in my opinion you know Rubio was pretty dumb but remember Rubio did I think he stopped David Lemieux say what you want to say but then David Lemieux ended up getting the title kind of flabbergasting if Luis Ortiz don't beat Wilder in the rematch <laughs> that he he'll he had retire. He'll probably retire without a championship belt. In a in a, in, a, in a boxing game where championship belts are a dime a dozen, ain't that crazy? But a motherfucker like David Lemieux gonna have, gonna get. He got. He at least got one title. That shit crazy. Danny Jacobs almost retired without a title if it wasn't for him beating Sergey Devinchenko. Cause that regular WBA title he had was a joke. But right now, I don't like Canelo training. Um, is what it is. If you don't fight Canelo, the triple, the triple G in the trilogy, I don't think nobody, I don't nobody want to see that fight. I ain't met a person in the box community, on social media, and the internet, and on YouTube that said, "Oh, I want the trilogy." Nobody want that fight. Canelo don't want the fight. And Canelo don't need to fight. He beat him decisively the first time. Triple G just want to just want a payday. He probably guaranteed a bigger payday than he got versus Steve Rose versus Canelo. But this is the game. Gay big good to be in my E40 voice, but it is what it is. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you have a business question, inquiry, sponsorship, and video quest. Uh, intro instrumental link that's in the description. If you want to make a donation that's in the description. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, the Hellblaze at thehellblaze.com.
promo code Goodfellow when boxing gets you 18% off the 100% all natural products, lotion soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, we and two page hair part made, much, much more. Website, promo code in the description, get that 18% off. One time for the one time we gone.